what we're going to discuss now is something that you can use to introduce your topic to no matter what type of organization, whether it be two people you're talking to, a whole school, or a uh, corporation, it doesn't matter, or just a simple class. This is how you can introduce your topic. Now the topic I'm going to use today is of course the topic of hypnosis. I do a lot of hypnosis training, so therefore what I want to do is, is talk to people using my fun magic coloring book, and letting them know probably just about what they already know, what some of them may know, but what they should know by the time you get through with that topic, regardless of what the topic is. Because what I have found out when I do this type of thing is when I walk in, most people know just about this much of what I'm going to be talking about. Now when I say that, I'm talking about they're a blank sheet. They have no idea of the subject. Unless they've had some courses, they've done some talking, they've done something that has to do with whatever it is you're going to give them the speech on or the talk on or the course on. Now, those people may already have at least an idea of what it is you're going to be talking about. They've been exposed or they have an experience, so they have kind of an outline, but they're kind of empty on the substance of what that talk is. So those are the things now that what you really want to do is you want to make sure that they know that with your expertise, that when you're done, they are going to know as much as you do, they're going to fill in all the blanks, and they'll have everything that they need to know about the topic that you're talking. So you want to be sure you give them everything so that you color in all the pieces, you fill in all the information that was missing before. If you let them go away, if they leave, and this is the only place they're at, well at least that's more than they knew before they started. Because I'll tell you right now, almost every single one of them came in like that. By the way, when I'm done, I just lay my coloring book down so that if they want to look at it, they can come forward and look at it. So when they come up forward and they pick up the coloring book, guess what? They can sit there and they can look through it all day. They can see all the pictures. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be as blank as probably what they were when they came in to start with. So guess what? Come back later and we'll show you how this works. Thank you. I want to do now is to talk to you about how to help people make change. They're going to come to you because they want to make behavioral changes in their life. Children need to make changes. This is great for doing children hypnosis. This is great for doing a talk in front of a group of people who are really ready to make some changes. So all you do is take the scarf and show them that all they have to do is make those changes. to talk to you about now is nothing more than creating an illusion of things disappearing, things returning. You can use this in as many ways as you want to, even for people who want to stop smoking or how when weight goes away it can come back or it can stay gone forever. Uh, I just took an old uh, napkin off of a uh, table. Uh, you can use just about anything you want to or just use your simple empty hand, which I'll also show you that here in a few moments. But what you want to do is then create a place where things can kind of be placed, and then, just like in any hole, you want to bury something. So just take all of those feelings and bury them away. And what happens when you do that is, is it actually goes away. Now sometimes we want those things to come back, but if we want to come back, we've got to find it, figure out a way to get them somewhere in there. Yeah, there we go. Almost create yourself a little bit of a flower. Now, that can also just disappear. You put it right back down into that hole, and the next thing you know, it's gone. Well, where did it go? Where could it be? Well, it could be anywhere, but if you let yourself, you can see that it never actually went away at all. Now, people who come in to see us, they want magic. They want to come in and quit smoking, and they want it to just go away and never be there again. But what happens is, is they have to expect it, they have to want it, they want to let it happen. Otherwise, if they're not ready, then what happens is it's everything returns. So you too can learn how to make things disappear.